Coming up, she's Australia's undisputed queen of pop and a pint-sized entertainment powerhouse. Get excited, people. Kylie's on her way. This is the program. So famous, she no longer requires a last name. Just like the Queen, Madonna, or Dorothy. As the unofficial leader of our country, Kylie's an icon, a charmer, and one very busy lady. The last 12 months have seen her release an album that went straight to number one here at home, and she closed out the Commonwealth Games with a bang. 2014 saw her launch her latest tour, hitting more than 20 countries and playing to hundreds of thousands of people around the globe. In the country for the Aussie leg, the tour is called Kiss Me Once. And I'm hoping that's a promise. It's Thank such you. a thrill to have you here. I'm so excited to be here. Now, on the weekend, you were partying at Mardi Gras with Danny. How was yep. that? It was amazing. Um, I was there firstly as a sister and cheering her on from the side, um, trying to watch and film at the same time, <laughs> uh, and as a fan. And it was a, an amazing trip down memory lane. She did like Love and Kisses and Remembrance, and you know, all, all of her hits. Was I was so proud. But enough about her. Let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> The real reason you're here is the tour. Mm -hmm. And it's giving massive, yeah? This is like a stadium tour. It's the first time you've done one here in about four years, like a stadium. Yeah, the last one was Aphrodite, so that was 2011. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an arena tour. Yeah. Um, and there it is, amazing. I have to do that on Saturday night. Oh, my God! I'm not ready! <laughs> what, like you've never done this before? What do you mean? No, I know. Well, yeah, I guess it's like riding a bike and come back to me. But I am... I, I, I am secretly, or well, not so secretly now, going to watch the DVD to remind myself <laughs> Do you ever wish you were like a I'll be folk... twitching watching it. <laughs> Do you ever think you wish that you were a folk singer who could sit on the, you know, with a guitar uh, and just... I, I keep threatening with my team. I say, look, it's going to end up, I'm just going to be on a stool with a banjo. <laughs> I've never played a banjo, but, you know, it, it would make life a bit simpler, but not as much fun. No, mm. no. Mm. You're really close to your mother and yeah. your sister and your family, great Melbourne family, the mm. Minogues. Uh, is it right that you've sacked your mother oh, from highly. doing the costumes on your show? Oh, have you no. given her the flick? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I might have given her the flick a, a few years Whoa. back. Yeah, she got the sack. What did she do wrong? No, she did everything right, but I wanted, I, you know... Sounds like a good reason for sacking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, Poor old mum. No, my mum was on my tours since the first one and she used to be, you know, hand-washing, stinking dancers, costumes and everything. I really should have, you know, just... I should have a bronze statue of my mum. She's so amazing. But I just thought, Mum, come on, enjoy the show, go out and watch the show instead of being backstage. Yeah. So it was bittersweet because she loves being part of it. So no unfair dismissal claims? <laughs> not, not yet. I keep, you know, I'm, I'm worried. It could come in the post. <laughs> now, um, I have to ask, you've, you've sold 68 million records. Exactly. Uh, this is, apparently, yeah. this is, <laughs> No, but that's, like, that's an enormous number. 25 years mm -hmm. you've been going to achieve that. Do you have, after all this time, a favourite song that you're prepared to admit to being your, your uh, favourite? It's... it's... I'm asked all the time. Um, oh, well, sorry, I'll take sorry, that back. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but it's, it's really difficult. I mean, I... I literally can't choose one. I mean, is it locomotion? Can't get you out of my head, spinning around, slow. There's, there's many, which is a great problem. You're just listing greatest hits now. Yeah. <laughs> Showing off but there's, the, like, for example, um, Locomotion and Lucky, I kind of didn't like singing them for the longest time, and now yeah. it's been, you know, it's come full circle, and I absolutely adore singing them. Mm. Go, we thought having you on the show was a perfect time to launch a new segment. Okay. Yes. You've heard of the philosophy of paying it forward? Yeah. We, we're going to get guests to ask it forward. So yeah. we get a previous guest to ask you a question. They completely decide what question this is. <laughs> Last week we had the, one of the funniest men in the world, Chris Rock, and he has this question for you. Okay. Carly? Here's the question. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? <laughs> easy, easy. 
shake it off. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I love a lot of her songs, so that's my favourite one. Hey, Connie, I want to go back to those famous hot pants, which yeah. we saw. Are any, we never see your lower half. Are any of you wearing golden hot pants? <laughs> I'm not even wearing pants, uh, Kylie. Oh. It's no pants. <laughs> it's my Monday. pants Monday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you ever just pull them out when you're flying around the house doing the vacuuming or anything? <laughs> no, no, because they're in the, the, the Performing Arts Museum here in Melbourne. Oh, they're in Melbourne? You literally, you can't go near them without white gloves on. Wow. Yeah, serious. Wasn't it so Even me, that... I want to go, give me the pants, but no. Well, what if you like... want them back? Can you get them back? Uh, I would have to write a letter and get permission and get insurance. And I, to be honest, I don't think they would survive one more outing. They're pretty worn away. <laughs> <laughs> I think my wife needs white gloves when she's handling my underwear, for different reasons, for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to see Kylie on her Kiss Me Once tour, head to our website for details and you can get the DD, DVD from March 20. But stick around, because we have a whole lot more of Kylie coming up. Coming up, he was the target of cool online jibes simply for wanting to dance. But then the world got together for some sweet, sweet justice. Plus, how does F1 driver Daniel Ricciardo rate his chances at this weekend's Aussie Grand Prix? Well, he's here, so we'll ask him. You're watching The Project. Terrific. Go, go. Oh, that's cool. That is how it all began. That's amazing. That's so cute. Fantastic. So little, so young. Wow. Littler than I am now. Can you imagine? So you recognise her, yeah? Like that's... I, well, I yeah, yeah, I do. But I just, I don't know. I feel like I feel you kind of glazed or something because it's so amazing. You remember that? Was yeah, it I too do. Long ago? Oh no, I remember it. It's pretty full yeah. on to imagine if that day had gone badly. <laughs> Like, what we wouldn't have I, had. Well, exactly. You may not be on the show it's... tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be on the show. By the way, um, I should point out the Neighbours' 30th anniversary is next Monday night. Mm. So you're looking forward to getting involved with that. But also, do you look back at that and cringe, or do you look back at that with uh, Well, I did for a while, but no, now I'm just... I'm so fond of it. And, of course, there's a lot of attention because it's 30 years, which is unbelievable. <laughs> um, but the fact that, you know, the nation and, and you know the UK is just they became obsessed with it and it's earned such a place in so many people's hearts so I, I, I love it I'm very thankful. Carla mm. we have mm. one more ask it forward for you you're such a special guest hey, hey, we've hey. got two uh, <laughs> somebody who you know the lovely Magda Zabinski was on the show last week here's a question. Carly I know your tour is called Kiss Me Once but what if someone wants to kiss you again? <laughs> 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 Do you have a one kiss policy, Carly? Um. <laughs> then do it. No, no. I'm just thinking if if you wanted someone to kiss you twice, then that would probably lead to three times, four times. I mean, I think. Don't you know after one kiss whether it's kind of happening or not do. happening? I reckon you do. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Bryce? How one kiss you or two kiss? Only one. <laughs> don't bring up guys. My it's guys don't react don't to that. It. No. No, I think I think Magda knew exactly what she was saying. <laughs> <laughs> about that story. Isn't it I mean, gorgeous? dancing's a moment where you're supposed to let loose and, oh, that's, you know, from so bad to so good. Isn't and, it? And for so many people, it's not easy to dance, especially men of girth, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, like it's, a night, it's a nightmare, you know. Like, it takes a lot of mental, you know, uh, commitment to get on the dance floor. And they have yeah. been shamed, you know, like, on that level. So it's that's great that... That's just horrible and, and, wow, dancing man forever. I love that. I think what Pete's saying is he'd like to be a backup dancer in the upcoming <laughs> Sure, sure. You can just freestyle. That guy's, I think, from London, so no doubt he's heard of you. Uh, we, we'd give a message for him if he was... Oh, no, I'm Dancing sure this Man, could... Dancing Man, I am, am in love with your story and I hope that you realise you're making so many people happy and um, that's so inspirational that you, um, you, you're you inspiring so many people. And we're all going to dance it out right here and right yeah. now. Yeah.
An average day at the office for our next guest involves speeds of up to 360 kilometres per hour in one of the most high-tech and dangerous sports in the world. Please welcome the man who single-handedly carries all our Formula One hopes and dreams, <laughs> Daniel Ricciardo! That's almost Kylie levels of applause. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just staggered we've got this shot. Isn't, like, look at this. Isn't it awesome? This is unbelievable. It's emotional. Don't oh. <laughs> 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 No, it's the first time we met. You've never met before? No. Oh, this is going to be great fun. You're a great driver. You're a superstar. I'm more excited to meet you almost than Kylie. It's sort of borderline oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the Fantastic. best of both worlds. Great to see you both. <laughs> we well, love I think you. my quick change is probably like your pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even faster than once it's 300 and how fast you go? You know, so, 160. Kylie's mum's looking for a job too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I ask a favour? Yeah. Can I have not one but two but three autographs? Oh. <laughs> oh, look, you yeah. got your little photos. No, no, look, I've got these and Is this and so I serious? Have, it's serious. All right. Um, I'm blushing. Are they for you? <laughs> well, it's for you, Kylie. What, what, one for me and, and those two for my nephews. Because I'm going to be the best auntie. <laughs> All in right. your own time, in your no own worries. time. No so this, this, this will be an authentic autograph, not one of those screen printed ones that I exactly. give all the other fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I could ask, feel a lot better. I could want to ask Kylie, Kylie a question. We had a rumour that Sebastian Vettel named the car, one of his cars, after you. Is this true? There was a rumour. I have not had the chance to ask Sebastian myself, but... Um, What's the rumour that you heard? <laughs> the rumour was that... Is it true? <laughs> it is. Come on, it's Phil Oh, because... <laughs> Because the car had a, a Just good, what do you call the back? A end. good rear end. A good rear end. <laughs> yes. I hope it won. I hope it was a good one. He won the championship with that. Why yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't he? Here, don't you think? These two are so, so successful in their field and just it. so damn so nice, nice, though. Like, Aww. I think... That's, uh, how we, that's where, how the Aussies are. Yeah. And it's really... I mean, Dan, you never find that when you go onto the track you have to turn into white line fever because you just seem, like, so happy all the time. There's definitely two sides um, with that and I don't know if it's like you with performing, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, you've got the fun side and then as soon as the helmet goes on, it's, it's game time. Give so. us your racing yeah. face. Give us your racing face. <laughs> <laughs> 